What's going on YouTube? This is Baboon Banana 69 and I'm going to be bringing you yet another video on my channel. Uh, this is going to be a new video. We're going to be taking a look at the new game, Apex Legends. It's a battle royale type game, sort of like Fortnite, sort of like Call of Duty. Seems to be the trend that battle royale is the new hot item. Everyone wants to do it. Uh, this game is by Respawn Entertainment. It is free. Um, so if you don't have it, you should definitely go check it out, pick it up. I promise you, it is worth it. It is very fun. Uh, it's very another great battle royale game to compete with the big boys, Fortnite, Call of Duty, uh, DayZ, etc. There's so many of them out there. They're all a little bit different. They're all a lot of fun. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, uh, drop a comment below. I hope you guys all enjoy this video. Uh, we are going to just be talking about my first impression of this game as well as uh, just taking a look at some gameplay here. Uh, first impression of the game is uh, the game runs very smooth. The graphics are very good. Um, the, it doesn't have flaws, yes. Um, is it the greatest game out there? To be determined, um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too uh, gung-ho on like, this is the best game I've ever played. This is the worst game I've ever played. Um, it's different for sure. It's not like a typical battle royale game. Uh, so what do I mean by that? What is it? What do I mean by that? Is it's not a typical battle royale game uh, is you drop in teams of three uh, Which is a little bit different uh, three is a little bit of an odd number I'm not sure why they went with three normally four is a party and three is just kind of a trio um, So that seems a little bit odd to me. You can't drop solo. You can't drop in duos. You can't drop uh, Solo squads. You can't drop without a team um, so if you're playing solo, I guess then it just auto pairs you with a couple teammates. I'm playing with my with my boy here, Sweet Calf. Um, but in general, it's it feels a little bit odd. So I'm not a huge fan of the party feature just because I play with uh, more than two other people. Generally, I generally play with two or three people. So anyone who has more than just two friends, it's kind of could be obnoxious uh, on that end. So will they change that? I'm not sure. Maybe that'll be some feedback community that'll come out later in the game. Um, maybe they thought that the teams were going to be too powerful if there was four people. So that is probably my biggest con of the game is the fact that there is uh, only three people in a squad and you cannot play solo. Um, my, my biggest pros are the game runs smooth. The weapons feel relatively balanced uh, as of right now. Nothing feels too overpowered and uh, shotguns don't feel too powerful. Um, the sniper rifles don't feel too powerful. Some of the assault rifles kind of shred up close, but I, I think they're doing what they're supposed to do on that end. Uh, in general, all the weapons feel relatively well balanced. The gameplay interaction, uh, picking up weapons is it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit choppy, but uh, it's it's not the worst and it's not the it's not the greatest. I'd say nice. Fortnite uh, beats this game when it comes to picking up weapons and uh, how to interact with the environment here. Um, is it better than Call of Duty when Battle Royale? Yeah, for sure. Uh, the weapons you don't have to look at like straight down in a 90 degree angle. You can kind of get a feeling of what it is. Uh, a nice icon pops up and uh, tells you, hey, you're picking up light ammo. Hey, you're picking up frag grenades, which I really, really do uh, appreciate the, the user interface. Um, in terms of user interface, now that I'm mentioning that, is uh, the, the interface is very, very smooth. So what I mean by that is you pick up an attachment that is specific to a gun. It, by default, if it, if it is a better attachment, it'll automatically select it on. So as you can see, I just picked up a, a scope here. It automatically threw it on the gun. There's none of that weird, uh, weird time lag like Call of Duty has where you need to swap out your scope or pick out your scope. Scopes are automatically swapped in and out when you put, pick them up on the guns. Um, the game does not allow you to pick up shittier attachments. So if you have like a really strong barrel on your gun, you do not like sacrifice that if you don't really know what you're doing. So it's, it's kind of like noob friendly or user friendly on that aspect. Uh, another thing you can do is when you have the start menu up, you can uh, change attachments between guns. Like if they're comparable with one another, or if they're like usable for one another, you can change attachments for the guns uh, pretty, pretty seamlessly, which is fantastic. Um, in terms of what they did to make the game user friendly, I say that they they nailed it. They they made a nice first person battle royale shooter that has really good graphics, uh, plays very clean, and is uh, actually quite fun. It feels like really really good. Uh, getting into one of the more negatives here besides the teams is the the uh, interface to use grenades and uh, health. Uh, I, it's, it feels awkward to me, uh, to be honest, to use the D-pad. There's no real customization that I've found that you can change these buttons around. 
Um, but to heal, you hit up on the D-pad, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, it's, I guess it's better than equipping a med pack and smacking a med pack, which which uh, has its pros, has its cons, but I'm, I'm not a huge fan of uh, hitting up on the D-pad to heal and shield. It feels a little bit choppy. Um, another thing that feels a little bit choppy is there's multiple different variations of shield or health or med packs that are available in the game, and, and you have to hold up on the D-pad and then select the select the button or select the ability thing you want to put on, whether it's a Phoenix pack or a mega shield or whatever the heck they call it in this game i haven't quite figured out all the correct terminology yet um it feels just a little bit choppy um grenades you have to have to physically pull out um with the uh right d-pad or the right toggle stick and you're probably thinking wow that's weird why don't you just click the the right bumper um the right bumper actually does a different action which is uh mark enemies mark uh equipment for teams to pick up and i understand why they did this and the main reason being uh they simply just wanted to make the game more of like a team orientated game i think they wanted you to be able to mark out enemies and mark out equipment for your teammates to pick up um but if i could switch it to that be the grenade button i definitely would switch it for that to be the grenade button and then simply just use the d-pad to swap in and out between the various grenades that are available in the game um Outside of those some cons that are in the game, the again, I highly recommend you pick it up and you give it a try. Um, it comes very, very quickly. At first, you're going to feel a little bit overwhelmed. It's going to seem like there's a lot going on. People can teleport, uh, which seems crazy and seems like, how can this be fun with people doing all these crazy abilities? But you'll quickly find out the abilities are very very evenly balanced um is there some better ones that i have found over the past couple of hours over the past couple of days yes maybe not better but uh more to my game style um and i and for that's for you to fill out figure out if you like being a defensive player you can play that style if you like being an aggressive rusher there's people with smoke grenades and uh uh shields which is more your style go ahead and put those people on i i think that this game is well suited to suit a lot of play styles which uh which is what I think they went for, and I really appreciate Respawn for doing that. It's it doesn't seem like they made just a run and gun shoot in anyone's face. You can you can rip or you can die. It's a very team orientated game. Uh, if you engage in with two or three squads at a time that are well balanced and like well put together, maybe they have a heal character, maybe they have a shield character, maybe they have a a smoke character. Uh, I've seen some crazy plays already happen, and I've had some intense gunfights already go down. And I would highly encourage that you just kind of get a feel for the game. Um, obviously, the game that you're watching on screen here is one of my first games that I played. So I'm kind of like messing around with the menus, trying to figure it all out, trying to explain to Sweet Calf what I figured out. Um, and he's like, okay, this seems like a lot of options. But um, I promise you it is, it's not too bad um, in the interface. Uh, you're going to quickly find out that the game was designed to make it easy to use and uh, really user-friendly, which is fantastic for a game. Um... Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and shut up now. If you want to continue watching the video, I really highly encourage you do. I actually end up winning this one out. It is my first win that I get here on the game. I think it was my second or third game on. Um, uh, I'm going to try to play, bring a lot more entertainment about this game. Maybe go over the characters, which ones are my favorite. Uh, lots more videos to come out, I believe, on this. Uh, I have been having a lot of fun with it over the past couple of days. Stay tuned, guys, for more information. Uh, be sure to stick around until the end of the video. Uh, there's actually a really cool gunfight that goes on for the victory of the gunfight. Uh, go ahead and skip that. It's right at the very end if you want to check it out. Uh, take care, guys. Until next time, this has been your host, Baboon Banana. I'm going to go ahead and sign off now.
and package. Very close. Forty five seconds. He's got a med kit. One sec. Just a sec. One second. Pass me that sugar. Looks like a care package is coming in. Big things in that. Let's explore this way. Give my shield to recharge.
might be something good this way. Come and get your birthday present. Shut at. You'll be alright. I gotcha. Only 30 seconds left on the clock. The ring's close. Good luck, Emma. Fast, me that shoot. Catch him last time, close a bit. I need shields. Not too far from ring. Got 10. Just a scrape. One second. <laughs> 